everyone, this is Frix. This is part three of my multi-controller engine tutorial. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be going over the joystick uh, movement. So create a new group of events. Uh, you don't have to, but I recommend it. Can't spell. To go with that, and then create another new group of events called controller or joystick or whatever, and uncheck that so it's not active. Now, uh, click on your uh, joystick to object directions. Uh, this one, uh, here's where your joystick alterable value that you made in the last video comes into place. Um, this is variable so it's mostly important for this because you have 1 to 16 as you can see here and there's no telling which one you have and instead of having to make a condition for each individual joystick and that's another part of what this engine is um, I guess engine, I don't know what else to call it um, so you don't have to make five or six um, just things that are com uh, commands that are from here to here just to have all three commands it's just easier to do this in my opinion so uh, joystick um, this is where here you have zero two four six um, and you're gonna do this um, So change this to two, this to four, this to six as a five, um, and then I just set the counter to the same value. Then you're going to do the same thing with buttons. Button is pressed. Joystick. Um, should you button? Oh right. Um, actually, I'm going to come back to it later. Um, set this counter to one. And now. do this one. Push a button. Okay, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? For now, I know one thing. If you push your controller right, it, there's nothing saying it'll go back to a different direction. So that's what this event is going to be. So actually, you can cancel that. Um, drag this down, then drag this to the number. Or you could do right click and insert. But this and I find easier. Uh, what happened to my right click? But the Okay, that was weird. Uh, okay. That has never happened to me before. Display driver not responding. Okay. And set the counter to 8. This might work, hopefully. No, I'm going to see what's wrong with that. But you will need to... Uh, do the same thing with your buttons in the exact same way. Just drag that there. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna see what's the problem with this though. Okay, so I did make a mistake. Uh, in my coding, I have this uh, as eight, so you can do that and it just simplifies it a little bit. Uh, one mistake I did was I set the, when I copied and pasted the these events last video. Uh, I'm using value D instead of value A, uh, but that is not the problem, and you'll have to keep watching to find out. I'm um, going to end this video here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, you could subscribe, and if you dislike the video, please leave a comment so I can improve for next time.